Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about some new goodies at Chanel. There is a new lipstick launch called the Rouge Allure Extrait. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is where you get the chance to talk to me one-on-one -on -one live through a Zoom chat. So I have a half hour session and a full hour session. Now, if you have an extensive makeup collection and you want a fresh set of eyes, that is the perfect reason to book or if you want some makeup advice, maybe you're looking to purchase some new makeup items, but you want unbiased advice because I work for myself, not for any brand in particular, that is also a great reason to book a consultation. So if you wanna make an appointment for yourself, just go ahead and click the link below. That is my website. There's more information there as well as a scheduling calendar. All right, the new Chanel Rouge Allure Extra, as you can tell, I did go to the salon yesterday. I just woke up and decided that I did not feel like washing my hair. So here's a pro tip. If you're just too tired to wash your own hair, outsource it. Go to a salon. They'll do it for you. Get a blowout. So that is why my hair is straight and why I will be playing with my hair in today's video. So. I went to the counter yesterday, I went to Holt Renfrew, and I got some goodies here. I thought I could show you what I got. I got two of the new lipsticks as well as some other items. The first thing that I got here is actually the nail polish that I'm wearing. I got this, this is the Chanel nail polish in Ballerina. This is not new, it's new to me. I've been avoiding nude nail polish. Oftentimes I find they're too close to my actual skin color, but this one here is like a ballet slipper pink. I did two thick coats to get this color payoff here because when I have a nude nail polish, I want it to be opaque. I want to see the color. I don't want to just see my flesh skin tone on my fingernail. So I think this is the color that I wanted, but again, two thick coats to get the desired result. I also got a refill of my waterproof black liner. This is number 88. It's just the waterproof Stilo Yeux, you know, this one here. Nothing exotic, nothing fancy, just like a plain black liner because mine was running out. There was like this much left. And I feel like with these ones, you can never really tell day to day when you're going to be running out completely. So I got a backup and I'll be using it in the next week or so. It's nothing like flashy, but we all need a good black waterproof liner in our collection. I also got a nail polish here from Hermes. I got the ballet slipper pink, you know, very nude, very everyday, but then I finally caved in and got an Hermes nail polish. I've been wanting to get one for some time now, and these look gorgeous. So it's like the lipsticks. You have a box within a box here, and then you have your Hermes box. You have your classic Hermes orange. So classic, so beautiful. I love it. And then inside, let me just crack it open. There, you have your nail polish inside here. So I probably will keep the case just because to be extra. And then I got this red here. It's number 77 Rouge Grenade. So I just wanted like a classic, beautiful red nail polish and I definitely got the best of both worlds with these colors here. And one thing I wanted to show you about this, well, first of all, it has the Hermes logo on here. Very classy, very bougie, but the wand looks amazing. It reminds me of the wand from the Dior nail polishes because they're really thick. Like, look at this. It's really wide, so it's going to be great for application, like this type of applicator here, uh, you can almost do it in one coat. So I'm really happy that they have such a wide applicator. So I will be testing this out and talking about this on my channel in the near future. And then of course, last but not least, I got the new lipsticks that we're going to talk about in today's video. So I got a full size and a refill because Chanel has joined the refillable makeup train that a lot of luxury brands are doing now. So I decided to get two shades, but I didn't feel like getting two full-size ones because I don't know, I didn't really see the need. So I just got 
a full size and a refill. And then they also gave me a sample here of one of the new lipsticks. They gave me a shade here, number 854, Rouge Puissant. So let's go ahead, talk about these new lipsticks, do a demonstration, swatches, all that good stuff. So this is a whole new lipstick collection, but there are some limited edition colors within this series as well. So this is called the Rouge Allure Extrait the high intensity lip color, concentrated radiance and care, and it's refillable. I was told that these on average have a higher percentage of pigments in the product here versus the other Chanel lipsticks that exist. So these retail, like the full bullet here retails at 74 Canadian, and then the refill, I believe it is 54 Canadian. So that's quite a price jump. I think normally a Chanel lipstick is like 50 something. So the new ones are more expensive. How shocking is that? The description says, the new lipstick that combines high intensity color with concentrated radiance and care. This seems to be the new trend for luxury lipsticks, combining lots of pigment with lip care and a shine effect. We've seen this with Sisley. I wanna say we've seen this with other brands as well since the new year, but this really seems to be the trend for lip products. A formula that moisturizes, is comfortable and protective thanks to the combined effects of the Ume flower extract and plant waxes. The iconic black and gold click case has been reimagined, now ultra slim, ensuring a smooth and precise line and is refillable. So the tube here I will show you is much more narrow and smaller than the classic Chanel lipsticks. So it does make sense that they are saying that it's going to be easier and more precise to apply because you'll see that the lipstick is quite narrow. And it says it has 20 new satin shades. They're all satin, there's no matte here. Um, they are refillable and it's exclusive to this here. So you can't just buy this refill and try to, you know, shove it into anything else, it won't work that way. And one thing to note is that the refill here, you cannot use it on its own. You have to actually place it in the case here to be able to twist it up. It says it's going to have a smooth, precise application in a single stroke. I'm, I hope so, because these are supposed to be like just a higher concentration of the pigments. So they're supposed to be more opaque and have a higher color payoff. So that really should be exactly what it's going to be like. And it says here to pair it with their own lip liners. You can pair it with the lip liners. They did reformulate the Chanel lip liners, I think two years ago, and they are great. The new formula is wonderful. I've had them for, I think, two years, and they're still creamy, still buttery. They're not drying whatsoever. So if you do need a lip liner, I would say buy a Chanel one, but if you have your own, you can use your own as well. They actually have instructions here on how to apply the lip color. So it says to apply it to the upper lip, starting at the outer corners and working inward, and then the lower lip from one corner to the next. Interesting. For the composition here, it says concentrated color, finely ground and coated in oil, pigments unleash their full color potential, revealing an incomparable intensity for up to eight hours from the very stroke. Interesting the concentrated radiance, the blend of powders and plant-derived oil, uh, selected for its powerful light-reflecting properties, delivers infinitely luminous lips, okay? And concentrated care, the formula offers 12 hours of hydration, 10 hours of protection, and comfortable all day long, interesting. Again, it says here that there's a combination of nourishing waxes and this Ume flower extract. That is the key, like nourishing, I don't wanna say skincare component, but the lip care component is the Ume flower extract. So for the lip colors, in the full size tube here, I got number 858 Rouge Royal a royal red. I was definitely feeling a deeper red mood for some reason. There are a lot of reds in this collection. There are some nudes, but it's a very red collection. It seems like red is Chanel's favorite color as always. So this is the lip color in the tube here. 
I will do a swatch on the back of my hand and then I will do one on my lips. So this is just one swipe with the lipstick here. As you can see, it swipes very, very opaque, very intensely. The color is very rich. I didn't have to build it up. I didn't have to go back and back, like back and forth. It's just one swipe, that's it. Let's go ahead and apply number 858 Rouge Royale on my lips and see if it will be just as intense. Wow, that was really intense. Like you saw, all I did was one swipe over here, one swipe over there, and then I did also just one swipe for the bottom lip. I did not have to go back and forth. The lipstick itself is very precise. Like it is very small. It's, it's much smaller than a regular Chanel lipstick, but it also means it's so precise. The only like thing to get the color everywhere is you go like like this a little bit, but you could also use a lip liner if you wanted to. You could also use a lip brush, but that's a really intense color payoff right away. Like you really like their claims that this is like has a higher concentration of pigments versus their other lipsticks is very true because this is just one swipe. It's so intense the color payoff is wonderful it's so opaque now it says here that this new rouge allure extrait has two grams of product i have just like the regular chanel rouge allure it doesn't say how much it weighs if you'll give me a moment i'm gonna go use my kitchen scale and weigh this it's this is number 191 rouge brulant which i've owned for a while and I mean, I can go ahead and measure it or weigh it, but I don't think it's weighed on like the packaging. I think it's the product itself. What I'll do is I'll weigh both of these and I'll come right back. That's what I'll do. It must be the product itself inside the lipstick, not the whole case, because both the refill and the full size say it's two grams of product. So unfortunately I don't have a box for one of the full size or one of like the older formulas of the lipstick. So maybe I'll just go ahead and weigh both of these, but this feels much heavier. I'm just gonna go ahead and weigh them and I'll be right back. That was our little science experiment. So clearly the classic Rouge Allure is heavier. Like when you hold it in your hand, it feels much weightier, but I don't know if that's the product itself. Like if it's this lipstick here or if it's the whole case, you know what I mean? So like I'm trying to figure out if there's as much product in this as there is in here. It's really hard to tell, so I'm going to just go ahead and twist this out as far as I can here. Interesting. I mean, it kind of looks the same. Hold on. So I think the height looks very similar, but clearly the width is very different here. But also these new ones are so intense, like the color payoff is there. Like if you're looking to buy these, and you want like a very intense color payoff, like the color you see here is the color you get. And like I said, there are a lot of reds, but there are also nudes available. So yeah, unfortunately, I wish I'd kept a box for one of these Rouge Allure lipsticks, but any of you watching at home, let us know what it says on the box of a regular Rouge Allure lipstick because the new one here says two grams of product. Let's go ahead and swap out this lipstick here for the refill. And now the refill here is number 874, Rose Imperial, which means Imperial Rose or Imperial Pink. So this, like I said, you do need to 
put it directly in the case in, uh, in order to use it because this is the refill here. It gives me a sort of like a vintage vibe. I like the gold, it's beautiful. And on top here, you have the CC logo, interlocking logo. And on the side of the tube here, you also have the name and number of the lipstick. So if for some reason you only held on to this and you lost the box, you would know what lipstick it is. So up here with the gorgeous logo, you click, you pull this out, then you pull this here, you transfer it like this, take off the cap, and you've swapped out your refills. This is this gorgeous shade here. I was just feeling like something darker for some reason, something a bit moodier. Doesn't exactly scream spring, but I think it is still a very gorgeous color here. And this is the swatch. Again, I only did one swipe, so it isn't a perfect swatch, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like if you just do one scratch across your hand. Now, if you try to use this without putting it in the case, it doesn't work. Like it's not possible. Like it, there's like a some sort of mechanism inside here that needs to connect to the tube in order to twist up. So without the actual case itself, you cannot use the refills. Again, number 874, Rose Imperial. So this is Imperial Rose. This reminds me of like a deep red velvet rose flower. The color is so rich, so intense. The color payoff on these lipsticks I think is the best I've ever seen from Chanel. You truly do, do like need one swipe for this and this and you get such a beautiful color payoff. The formula feels very similar to the old Rouge Allure, Rouge Allure Velvet. Well, maybe not the velvet, because the velvet is more powdery, but a bit more matte. But this feels like a regular Rouge Allure lipstick. That's like the classic satin bullet lipstick. But this has so much more color payoff. And what's great is that it has color payoff, but it, it isn't like a liquid lipstick because usually a liquid lipstick is more intense, but it's so drying. Whereas this feels comfortable. You can see a little bit of shine on my lips from, you know, the waxes and the Ume flower oil extract, but it feels so comfortable. It feels like nothing. It really doesn't feel like anything waxy or heavy. It's a really comfortable lipstick, beautiful color payoff. I think this is gorgeous. I'm going to put this one back here. And now I do have a sample here of a different shade. I have a sample of the shade 854 Rouge Puissant. I think this may be limited edition. Let me double check. No, this one here, 854, is not limited edition, but out of the 20 new shades, there are four that are limited edition for some reason, I'm not certain exactly. And I wanted to give you guys an update on the Chanel Le Blanc collection here in Canada. So apparently it's been delayed until April 15th. At first it was supposed to come out March 1st and then it was delayed to March 7th, then March 15th, and now it's not coming out until April. And now the Le Blanc collection, they are marketing it as the summer collection. I know. I I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I am just delivering the news. I don't know why it's... I had heard that they were not going to do a Le Beige collection like they traditionally do, but apparently the Le Blanc collection is now the summer collection, so I hope we get remnants. So I did see some sneak peeks of the Le Beige collection this year. From what we will be getting, it looks amazing. So you didn't hear this from me, but we're going to get more bronzers. Like, you know, the classic compact bronzer. We're going to get a jumbo one. It looks amazing. I saw, maybe I saw some photos, maybe I didn't, but it looks great from, you know, a bird that told me. And there's also going to be a new cream bronzer, like a different shade available, but we're not going to get a new Le Beige eyeshadow. So apparently the Le Blanc is now the summer collection. 
okay and also the water fresh tint which i absolutely love it's my favorite there's going to be a new version of it it will not replace the old one it's just going to be an addition to it and it's going to be um more it's, go it's going to offer more coverage it's going to have more color payoff so yeah and of course the water fresh tint blushes will be coming out at some point i mean i don't know i don't really understand what is causing all the delays i mean i, I can suspect what's causing all the delays worldwide but i don't know why they've delayed the le blanc and now they're just like pretending it's the summer collection we all have the internet most of us are on instagram so we know it's supposed to be coming out in like sneak peeks but yeah so if you're waiting for the le blanc but i saw that in the uk i think you guys are getting the Le Blanc collection right now, like live. If you go on the Chanel UK site, you can order the Le Blanc. I don't know. They did not consult me on this, okay? They did not book a consultation with me to talk about these changes. I'm just letting you know. So here's a close-up of the sample, 854 Rouge Puissant, a powerful red color. So here is a swatch on the back of my hand of the sample here. I did go back and forth with this one here because I had to like, you know, decant the color. So it's not the exact same, but I do think it's just as opaque. Like when I was applying it with the little brush, the color payoff was the same. Like just this super intense, super pigmented lip color. It feels wonderful. It feels like absolutely nothing but also it feels moisturizing at the same time, like the claims of it having like the Ume flower extract and the natural waxes and oils, like you really can feel it. You can feel it in, you know, the shine, you can see it there in the wear of it as well. Like it's a very comfortable lip color. I was only able to do a four hour wear test today because I just ran out of time, but it wears amazing like you do get a little bit of wear and a little bit of transfer especially if the lip color is fresh but it holds up really nicely the lip color sort of like stains the lip and it's really just the most opaque most intensely pigmented lipstick i've tried from chanel like it's just like the color payoff is really great so if you're tired of having to reapply lipsticks if you're not really into like the whole glossy lipstick movement if you want something that's like a bullet lipstick that's just really really saturated in color i think you're really really going to love this new formula here i am very happy with this collection here i think it's gorgeous i'm glad it's permanent this is just a new addition and i wanted to mention also some of the marketing photos i saw online and also in store this photo here I love it so much. Something about her hair, her makeup gives me a sort of like vintage vibe. To me, her whole look is a bit like 1960s mod, like something about her makeup and her hair to me screams very vintage and I just think it looks lovely. I like the whole uh, campaign, the marketing. Clearly Chanel loves red and that's why we have so many beautiful reds. But like I said before, there are also nudes and also some more like peachy pinky colors too for like spring and summer i just decided to go for like some very classic reds so leave a comment down below what do you think of these new rouge allure extra have you picked them up also vote in the comments which lip color was your favorite on me today let me know if you're going to pick these up i think they're great but these are permanent so you don't need to buy every single color. If you want to buy every color, I get it, I understand, but you don't need to. And let me know in the comments what you think of the delays and the pushbacks on release dates. I feel like at this rate, they're going to release the Le Blanc collection as the summer collection and maybe 
the few items from the Les Beiges will be part of like the holiday collection at this rate? I don't know. Leave a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, I talk about nothing but luxury beauty. I do lots of reviews and lots of tutorials. And I also have a series on my channel called Beauty History, where I take a deep dive into the life and legacy of someone in the fashion or beauty world. I've done one on Miss Coco Chanel. I've, I've done one on Dior, on Guerlain on Yves Saint Laurent, on Givenchy, on Versace, a lot of people. So there is always a new episode the first Friday of every month, and that is this upcoming Friday. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit your notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. So on that note, I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so much for stopping. Bye. Hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.